Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the shop again, and today we're going to be making some templates using MDF board. And these designs aren't my own, but I thought they were really cool. They're actually from John Graff at, I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name of it, uh, Hune Artisans. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the uh, description. You can go check out his website and his pages. The guy is an amazing craftsman. So uh, we're going to get started. Okay, so we have our piece of MDF, which comes from a, a different uh, project I was doing. And since resources and finances are a little limited here right now, we're just going to make the best of it and use this. So I've, uh, I've already measured and spaced out and drew lines where we're going to make a cut on the table saw. And these are going to be the actual widths of our piece, so we'll get started. Now excuse my horrible drawing and writing skills, but uh, these are going to be the three templates that we're going to create today, and uh, I'll start off by uh, trying to draw it on the MDF, so let's get going. Okay, so now we got our general shape of this one drawn out. I'm going to sketch the next two, and once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll get to cutting. Okay, now we got it drawn out. We have our center marks in all three locations. The middle one is gonna be drilled out with a Forzner bit. It is gonna be inch and corner. Before we drill, we're gonna use a center punch because it's gonna ride on that. Otherwise, it's gonna start dancing on us. So we'll punch the center. Okay, now that we got the centers drilled out, we have two more that we gotta do on this piece. We have our center mark here and here, and we're gonna use a half inch Forzner bit and drill these out. All right, for this next part, come on, focus. Come on, there we go. We're just gonna use this uh, bandsaw. We're just gonna cut our straight lines. And we'll do that for all three. So 
So we got our, our pieces cut. If you don't have a bandsaw, don't worry about it. If you have a jigsaw, that'll work just as well. And that's actually gonna be our next spot that we're gonna be using to do the rounded edges. You, I probably could do it on, on this uh, bandsaw, but I have the jigsaw, so I might as well just use that. Hopefully a little cleaner look. Okay, we got our edges cut, and don't worry if it's not perfectly straight, you can hit it with a sander and try to shape it as best you can. Uh, but just remember, it's just a template, so it'll give you the rough estimate for whatever work piece you're going to be uh, throwing this on top of. So, Alright, let, uh, let me cut out the rest of the shapes. Okay, we're all done with all three templates. They came out pretty good. And again, I'll leave all the links to, uh, I know I butcher every time, a new way, either way, John Graff, uh, awesome stuff. Uh, you know, you don't have to keep doing, I, you don't have to do his templates, you can come up with your own if you want to give it a try. You don't need to use MDF, you can use any scrap, what do you got? And uh, this is a lot of fun, and I can't wait to start using these to make some really cool things. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.